started this thing where I had an epiphany two days ago where I figured out that functional societies, functional spaces, winning groups of people, whether it's a racial group or a religious group or a national group, they win because the, the cornerstone of that society or group is healthy and functional. And the cornerstone of any healthy, functional, succeeding society is the family. I think largely for black Africans, the family structure has been broken. Mostly from outside, but also from inside. From outside, of course, it's easy. Black Africans have been colonized by so many different nations around the world who came into their countries, enslaved them, killed them, uh, exploited their labor, took their land or shifted them off their land or fertile land. And years later, slavery has been abolished and all these cute things. That devastation has now had a ripple effect to this day where a lot of black families are still broken. And now the internal part is where even after all of this external, even internally, we are struggling to lower and humble ourselves to we come from a broken history. We come from a broken space. We come from societies that generally don't like us, don't want us to win. So how can I, as a black man, come to you as a black woman? We come together. We realize how the world is and has been. And then we work together to build a functional family unit. Because if you and I get along, and if we can have children that get along with each other and get along with us, we are now this united unit that can now go out and fight and battle the world together. We're in 2023. We cannot change history or the trauma and, and, and. What we do have the power of is obviously changing ourselves and trying to change and influence the spaces around us. So I had this epiphany where I consult with people on a regular basis. The hope is to do a couple per day where I speak to people about their jobs. They're frustrated at work. They want to jump ship. They want to go somewhere else. People that have businesses, people I need advice. This is what's happening with my business. I'm trying to get into this sector. I'm trying to quit my job and go into business, etc. And then people speak about relationships, family. Some people want to speak about politics. Pen, I just want to talk to you about who should I vote for. I'm struggling. I live in this place. These are the issues I have, etc. And I realized that the core of most of this, because the bulk, 90% of people that consult with me, a black African people. Here and there, I'll get a white person. I've had a few coloreds. I don't think I've ever consulted with an Indian person. By and large, it's black people. And I just realized all I should be asking these people and all I should be working on is figuring out what is your relationship like with yourself? What is your relationship like with your family? And what is your relationship like with your loved one? By loved one, I mean a romantic partner, a girlfriend, a wife, a husband, a boyfriend. Because if you can fix that, if that can be healthy, you can almost achieve anything. You can almost achieve anything that you want because the base of where you come from is healthy and sturdy and strong. So the bulk of the work I should be doing from a consulting basis is helping families get along, not fight, sort out their family history, where they come from, the issues that they have, fix their communication and where possible mediate. I am not seeing my child. Um, I hate my mom. My father's absent. I'm trying to find him. My boyfriend and I are always squabbling over this. My girlfriend and my wife constantly wants money for this. Let us try and fix that. Because then everything else from there becomes so much better. So in saying that, I've made a few videos speaking about women that are too independent. Um, I made a video about understanding the why. Why, let's say as a black woman, why are black men so broke, so poor? Why are black men not loving? Why are black men... Once you understand the why, then maybe you can change your approach. Because I know we come from this history. Because I know in society this is what's happening. Because I have an idea of the psychology of a black man, I can now approach situations like this. This is not a black thing, by the way. It affects so many different communities around the world and even in South Africa. 
I'm only saying it because 80% of South Africans are black. 90% of the people that consult with me are black. Um, so it's an easier conversation to have. But there are many white people that struggle with the same things, Indian people that struggle with the same things, um, etc., etc. So please don't think that this is a racial thing, but it's majorly, for me, a black issue because it's black people in South Africa that are by and large poor and struggling and landless, etc., etc. Women in particular, men as well, want to be loved in a certain way. And because of that, it becomes harder to build with them. Speaking from my experience, speaking from the experience of many other people. This applies to men as well. Understand me. Because women are raised today to understand that a loving man provides, he brings money, a loving man will uh, listen to you, respect you, a loving man will never lay his hand on you, a loving man will become a present father, a, lo a loving man must buy you flowers, he must take you out for dinner, he must take you on vacations. All these things that are fed to women. Women then start believing, if he does not love me like this, therefore, thus, equals to, he does not love me. And so I must leave him and go find the next man who can do that for me. And the reality is there aren't a lot of men who love women the way TV portrays it. Because the reality is that relationships are hard work. Relationships require daily struggle, boredom, routine, and end. Daily relationships are waking up in the morning, bathing, exercising, getting ready for business, getting ready for your job, getting ready for school, cooking, fixing the lights, servicing the car. Um, what did you do today? Doing checkups. Let me support you emotionally at work. Let me support you emotionally at business. How, how is your exam prep going? What's happening in your family? There's a wedding. Let's go there. There's a funeral. Let's go there. Uh, are you okay? Are you gaining weight? A lot of it is, is work. It's structural graft. Then there's hard times where the person's moody or not. And if in your head love is just today he didn't tell me he loves me. This week he didn't buy me flowers. When was the last time he took me on holiday? So because of that, you now create the space where out of all the struggles that we have in life, you now want to add all these TV things. And of course, like I said, men have the same thing. Ah, she doesn't submit to me. Ah, she's not cooking these days. Like, Brur, we are at war with life and society and systems that want to break us apart so that it is easier to control and manipulate us to their ends and not to ours. The capitalist system, the political system, the legal system, arguably today the cultural system, does not put your health, your family's health, and your winning first. Your politicians are not saying, how can we ensure that South African families are strong, educated, hardworking, and winning? They're not. They want to take your guns away. They want to incentivize your woman to be a single mom so she earns a child grant. They want to ensure that Ubaba doesn't get jobs so that they can be rich alone. It's it. Their incentive is to make sure that you are broken. Same with business. Business doesn't want your woman cooking. They want your woman to be buying takeaways. Business doesn't want you guys building a strong family business. They want you to come and work for them. Business is not trying to educate your children so they're empowered. Business is trying to make sure that you have just enough schooling so that you can work for them but not build anything for yourself. And they've built all this red tape so that you and your family can't start a bank, can't start an insurance company, can't just start a business somewhere else, can't do something great, can't educate your own children, can't start your own farm. They've done everything. And culture today, the kings and the queens and the chiefs, all they want is to have power over you. And they cannot have power over you if you're strong. I can't be, because I'm a weak king or queen, I can't dominate you if you are smarter than me, if you are physically stronger than me. If you have more weapons than me, if you can solve problems better than me, because the question is, why do you need me? I need you to be weak, religious leaders as well. Be careful, especially as a woman, of demanding certain love from a man. And today people speak about love languages. Oh, my love language is to be touched and what? Do I We're struggling. You need to find a, excuse me, complementary partner who is going to help you build 
together and be strong. All this other airy fairy fucking bullshit, vacations and flowers and candlelit dinners, fuck those things. Those are nice to have. And a, why the fuck am I burping like this? Yo, if you caught any young knees. I'm so sorry. Eating junk, junk, junk. I'm gonna go drink water now and have a fruit. Look at the way your children love you as a woman. My, if my children don't love me like this, if every day they are not writing me a cute little note, if every day they are not drawing a picture of this is mommy, if every day they don't come to hug me and kiss me, that means they don't love me and I don't want these kids. I want other kids because these ones don't love me the right way. No, even on days when your kids hate you, banging doors, making funny faces, making remarks, as they get older and all of a sudden there's a do not disturb sign and such things. You don't say, oh, my kids don't love me that way. So they you understand, Wuti, I'm at work. What's more important for me is to feed these fucking things, clothe these fucking things, make sure that they get some kind of an education and empowerment so that they can be independent. So that one day if I pass on, they are functional human beings. But we're not doing that in our romantic relationships. So I realized that I have a very important role outside of all the other education and information to share that I'm sharing to try and speak to the man, the woman, the boy, the girl, particularly black Africans to be like, guys, you need to start working towards healthier relationships. It starts with yourself. Are you eating well? Are you exercising? Are you getting enough sunlight? Are you consuming the right content, healthy content on social media and elsewhere? Do that for yourself and then start influencing your family. Get them. It's tough. You may not win, but you need to try. Because if you can win them, it becomes so much easier to build a family legacy, a family business, to get your kids aligned, to get... By the time you look up, you've got a community that is strong, that is very strong, that has shared values, and that when the world comes to attack them, you guys form this shield where you're like, you will not attack us because we have a strong core and we can dominate other weaker communities and societies because we are sorted. Something for you guys to think about and some very, very important work for you and for me in trying to help you become better and more functional human beings so that you and your people can win. Pen you all the black pen. Shut up. Let me go have my water and my fruit. Cheers.